everybody, this is EY Stream, and welcome to another episode of Kingdom SMP. Now, today's particular episode is actually our 10th episode so far, so that is crazy, guys. We've made it to double digits. Woo! Yes, we have made it. And today's episode, we're going to be working on the lab. In particular, we're going to be working on some redstone stuff, as you can see by my inventory down below there. Look at all the crazy redstone items I've got. I've got redstone, I've got bread, which isn't really redstone stuff, but whatever. We also have redstone repeaters, we have uh, dispensers, hoppers, redstone torches, and comparators. I think I'm actually going to grab a little bit more redstone, because we are going to need just a little bit more for what we're planning here. Oh, right, I've already got 12 redstone redstone blocks hiding there just for extra use so let's go ahead and jump down into the lab here we go guys all right we don't want anyone coming down here so let's go ahead grab that redstone back up and the secret entrance hides away nobody can find us we're super secret now as you can see i've made some serious improvements to the lab here as you can see the nether portal is nicely still here but i have made the entire walls quartz now i had no idea how long it was going to take to do that but it actually legit took me hours to mine this much quartz but as you can see it paid off this place looks absolutely lit and as you can see, I've installed a bunch of redstone lamps here, which also look really sciencey, secret lab style. And I've built in the uh, secret entrance, which I showed you last episode. Now, another really cool lighting thing I did here is I added these lava falls. And these are just for light, just for show, even though they do look pretty lit. Get it? Because they're on fire. Do -do that was pretty funny. No, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, guys, as you can see, you can click this lever and it opens up two iron trap doors where the lava is. And as you can see, if I want to get rid of an item, I can just chuck it in here. And it also works as a trash can. So as you can see, that way, not only is this just for looks, but it also works as a trash can to get rid of unwanted items, which I think is really cool. So I won't have to go all the way down my mind just to th get rid of some uh, uh, unwanted items. Now, the big part of this lab I'm about to show you. Have a look at this, guys. As you can see, I have expanded the lab down two blocks to fit this monstrosity. Now, this, in fact, is an automatic brewer. And as you can see, I've got all my items lined up here in item frames, except the ones I don't have yet, like a rabbit's foot and golden carrots. We've got a bunch of levers, a bunch of hoppers, no, a bunch of droppers right there, and a huge line of redstone lamps. Now, this thing is huge. It also comes out, and the idea is you'll be able to click the ingredients you want, as you can see, and as you can see, nether warts is always selected, because obviously you're always going to need nether warts. Then you can click the on button, and it's automatically going to start uh, filling up these brewing stands. And as you can see, you can have up to four brewing um, stands going at once. That way you get four loads worth of potions all at once, so you don't have to wait forever, which I think is absolutely amazing. As you can see there, we'll just turn those off there. And the idea will be is you'll be able to brew potions really quickly. Now, what I think is sick about this design is if I run out of an item, it's going to automatically stop brewing. It's not going to make awkward potions or all that kind of jazz because, you know, who wants a bunch of awkward potions if you mess up the amount of items you put into these hoppers? Droppers. Sorry, hoppers, droppers. I can't. I keep messing those two up. Now, as you can see, I have done a lot of the redstone already, a lot of the basic redstone. As you can see, uh, over here, we have the timing systems for the brewing stands. We've got a redstone repeater, redstone, then coming up a block. We've got a block here, redstone, redstone. We've got a block and then a comparator facing this way, and then a redstone torch down here. So just in case you guys want to make this in your own world, but I will warn you, it is pretty resource intensive. As you can see, these hoppers were not cheap. I spent a lot of time mining these guys, but you know, anything for you guys. And these comparators and repeaters took forever to amass as well and as you can see we've done that here and here I haven't done it just here yet and as you can see we actually need to use a half slab here so the redstone can ooh, we'll just jump around this side so I can show you the redstone can actually come up and activate this side here now over here I've done a lot of the huge redstone stuff but this is pretty straightforward if you do want to recreate this on the bottom block here I've put a whole ton of redstone torches and then redstone dust and redstone repeaters alternating here so that they don't connect. Um, then we put a block here. Then we put a block here and a block here, as you can see. Then we put redstone torches all across here. Redstone torches all across the bottom here, so these turn off and these turn on. Then we, on this block here, we put a ton of redstone comparators facing this way. And on the top here, we put another lot of redstone torches, which actually tell us if we are out of an item. So as you can see, we're out of nether warts, and that's because I haven't filled any into the dropper yet. And as you can see, that's going to activate a redstone line. As you can see, if we can just peek over, I've actually put a bunch of redstone on top of this stone here, and that's important for the light system. As you can see, a redstone torch here. This is a 
Besides for this, it's pretty straightforward. We've got a bunch of redstone lines here, and as you can see, the droppers are going to push the item up and into the hoppers, and that's going to bring them round to the brewing stations. And as you can see, if you want to recreate this, pretty straightforward. Just pause the video and have a look at what I've done. Now, this bit is getting a little bit more complicated. We have a redstone torch here, a redstone. We've got a redstone comparator here and one there. Then the redstone comes up and over this one here, up here to another redstone comparator, to redstone, and then to a redstone comparator. And as you can see, there's a block here. Now, behind this block, I can't really show you because I don't want to uh, ruin this area. Actually, no, I probably could. We probably could. If I just break this here, as you can see, there is a lot of redstone, and I've just lined it up across these blocks and across the redstone lamps here, and these come right across, and as you can see, they go on top of each other one, and this is just to keep the redstone lights on, and as you can see, it's turning off and on here, and that's because these stone, this stone layer here actually stops these two um, currents from being connected, so we need to close that off, otherwise the signal is not going to work, but you get the idea, this is just to activate those beautiful redstone lights up front, anyway... The huge part which we are going to be doing in today's episode um, is the brains of the machine which is going to control all the timing here and we're going to be doing that today and you know as you can see I've already dug out the section for that redstone so let's get straight into it guys so firstly let's finish this off because obviously uh, I haven't done this last one oh nope that is incorrect we do not need that let's go ahead I'm just going to uh, chuck that there dig this up so what we're going to need is we're going to need a comparator here, I believe. Yep. We're going to need to put uh, redstone dust around the corner like so. Redstone dust here, redstone dust here. We're going to put a repeater just in there, as you can see, slotted in on one tick. And then we are going to have a redstone torch here, which deactivates this. And we need... Oh, what's, what's activating this? That is a little, little weird, guys. Let's uh, destroy that. Did I have an item in here? Do I have an item in here? Yo, I have some cobblestone in here. How in the world did that get in there? That is really weird, guys. Anyway, so as you can see, we'll put the comparator there, and we have this cycle going on. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to line a bit of stone up here and put redstone on top of it, just so it brings it over to the brains of the system. So we're going to put one stone here, and we're just going to create a humongous line coming right down, like so, and we'll just bring this all the way down. I believe we just need to bring it to here. And like so, all right, all right. And then what we're going to do is, I believe, yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some redstone here. We're gonna bring the redstone across like this, and then we're going to put a, a repeater right here on one tick. We're just going to align this entire thing with redstone. I think we actually need to bring this out one more block to cover up this, like so. And as you can see, we've just created this system, which is going to tell the brains over here what to do in a minute. And then we're going to do another line, I believe, I think. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring a line here and we're gonna put one block here and then we're going to line stone all the way down here. Now you can actually use any block here, but uh stone just seems kind of cheap. And we'll bring another redstone uh redstone dust line. Oh, oh oh my gosh guys, oh my gosh, we gotta come down here and come around, come around, alright, and we'll just line this entire thing with redstone. Alright guys, so now for the brains of the machine, which this entire thing has been leading up to. What we're going to do first is we are going to truck chuck a redstone torch on the back of this redstone lamp. Then we're going to bring a stone here. One, two, three, like so. Then we're going to build up one block, create a two by two space. We're going to dig this bottom bit up. Then we're just going to bring redstone across like so. And we're going to bring like this L shape coming around. As you can see here, then what we're going to do is grab some stone, here we go. And we're actually going to bring this down a block, so as you can see, we're going to have to dig this in like an L shape. Oh, like that. And what we want to do is bring in kind of... Oh, I think actually... Wait a minute. We actually have to go... Okay, no, we have to go like this. We're actually going to do this, and we're going to bring the blocks here. Then we're going to bring this a block down. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. This is some serious redstone wizardry, guys. I even get confused sometimes. All right, this redstone torch needs to hook on the back of this block. We need to bring redstone in an L shape like you saw above and bring it over so it attaches to this redstone torch. Then what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to fill this in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add... Um, ooh, I think we're going to add a block here. And then what we're going to do is add a hopper. Oh, let's put up some light. We'll put another hopper here, which is facing into this hopper. Then we're going to destroy this hopper. 
and face it into this one. Now this is going to create an endless redstone clock type style thing. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a comparator right here to receive this signal. Oh, we're going to need a comparator here. We're going to need a repeater here. And we're just going to put some regular redstone right there, I believe. Yep, that'll do it. And then to receive this signal, we're going to come off to the side here. And we're just going to put your regular redstone comparator. So this way, this hopper gets a signal and it comes out here. And this hopper gets a signal and it comes out here. And I think I have dropped an item in here. Yep, there's a hopper in there. We need to get <laughs> we need to get this hopper out. Oh my gosh, how many hoppers did I drop in here? Oh my gosh, it's... Go, no. It's coming out too fast. Alright, we're going to have to destroy one of these. Like so. Get rid of that hopper. There we go. And we'll just face this one into there. There we go. Now we have no signal coming out. And what we're going to do is we're also going to bring the redstone up onto this block from down here. Oh, no, we're not. No, we are not. We're actually going to... Oh, I see what I've done. What we got to do is <laughs> we actually have to bring this down one block so it actually connects to these things down here. So let's go ahead. We'll chuck this here. We'll put the hopper there. We'll face this hopper into that one like so. We'll dig that up. Alright, no hopper landed in there that time. We'll face this one into there. And what we actually have to do is bring this down an entire block so it actually fits in here. As you can see, and then we'll bring the redstone up so then it connects, which didn't happen last time. Alright, good, good yo. Let's go ahead and move on. So what we're going to need to do is put 20 of an item in here. So, as you can see, I've got 20 stone and we're just going to chuck 20 stone in here. Now this is going to create the perfect timing system for the hoppers. I'm just going to grab a bit more stone because we are going to need some more for this build. So let's come around, check my underground chest here. Oop, we do not have much... Oh, I... Yeah, we don't have any stone down here. Let's move up to the top chests and grab some stone to finish off this build. Alright, chuck some redstone in. Down comes the secret entrance. Up we go. Alright, let's jump over to the various stones here. And as you can see, we have a lot of stone. And this is because I've been using my Silk Touch pickaxe to mine all that... Mine the entire lab underground there so that we can see what we're doing. As you can see, I've done a lot of mining and all that stone is in the chest up there, guys. Alright, so let's come around. And what we're going to do is let's move on to the next step here, guys. Alright. So what we need to do now is all right let me let me try and remember here we need to build a two blocks onto here like so and then we're going to build like this little key shape coming out like so and we're going to build a little step here as you can see so you step up and then that way the redstone can actually step up come up here and we're going to put two repeaters here like so now these are each going to be on four ticks here then we're going to grab some more uh blocks here we're going to chuck one right there like so and we're just going to dig this one up. We're going to put some redstone on here. And we're going to come round to the corner here. And we're going to put a repeater there as well. Now this is also going to be on four ticks. One, two, three, four. There we go. Let's move on. Alright, so what we want to do is grab the stone. We're going to extend this up one more. Here we go. And we're going to put some redstone on here. And then on this side, we are going to put a dropper, like so, facing in this direction. As you can see, we have to get rid of this block, because otherwise, it's going to mess up the redstone. Trust me, redstone is delicate. And then we're going to grab... What we're going to do is we're going to grab a hopper, and we're going to face it into that uh, dropper here, as you can see. Like so, facing into the dropper there. Alright, that's looking really good. And this is also going to create another circuit for us. And what we need to do is we need to put a uh, redstone uh, dust right on top of there. And then we need to put, uh, I believe it is four, four, I believe. We need to put four items that can't be stacked inside this dropper. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to make, I don't know, a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of shovels or something, I guess. And we're just going to use that. So let's grab some sticks. We'll grab a bunch of stone here. And we'll just make uh, four stone shovels here. We'll just make five just in case I need five because I can't 100% remember. So let's come around here. We'll come to the back of this monstrosity. We'll open up this dropper here. And then we need to put one, two, three, four. I believe four is all we need. Yeah, I think so. We're not going to use that fifth one. If we if something goes wrong, we know what the problem is. We needed to put one more <laughs> stone shovel in there. Wouldn't that be bad if the entire problem was due to one stone shovel issue? So what we're going to do now is we're going to build a block that's coming towards this uh, redstone 4x4 thing we built earlier. So we're going to build down, then out. We're going to dig up this block in the middle here. 
and then we're going to just obviously chuck a repeater facing in oh no actually oh, I mean a comparator sorry guys we're going to need to face a comp frick I can't I can't I can't get around there we need to place a comparator right there except the problem is is this roof is not letting me jump let's just uh I hope I don't mess with anything up here let's just dig this up just a little bit higher so we can go ahead and place a comparator here and this is actually going to pick up the wooden shovels that are in the hopper there uh, the dropper there, sorry guys, and that's going to set off the redstone signal which is then going to come around here And we're going to use this uh, redstone signal for other means But firstly, we need to go ahead and we need to build right on top of here like so So we've got a block above here Then we're going to need to, oop, we'll come around, come around and jump up Ah, I can't do it guys Parkour, there we go We've got to dig this block up. I'm just going to eat some bread here so that we're not starving. And then we're going to... Do I have any slabs? Yes, we're going to need to place a slab right there. All right, there we go. So what we're going to do then is we're just going to place two redstone um, dusts here which connect to this redstone dust. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so much stuff here. And then we're going to put a hopper on the end of here to set up the timing system like so. Um, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? We need to set up a hopper And what we're going to do is we need to face the two hoppers into each other So this hopper needs to face into another one So what we've got to do is we're going to trick the hoppers into facing one another So we do this, we dig these up, then we face this way And as you can see, these two hoppers are now facing into one another Which will create another uh, continuous circuit right there Alright, so that's looking all G Then we're going to need... Oh my gosh! We're going to need to grab some stone here, and we're going to need to build two out. We're going to dig this one up. Alright, like so. And then we're going to put a redstone torch on the inside of there, like so, as you can see. And then we're actually just going to bring this down, as you can see. And we're going to connect this to our previous redstone cycle. This previous redstone um, kind of thing we built earlier. So as you can see, this redstone line is actually going to do something now. It actually comes up here, and when this turns on, this is going to turn this off, and then it's going to set off a redstone thing, which is then going to come down here, and going to set off the hoppers here. So there's some ridiculous redstone wizardry going on here, guys. All right, so once that's done, uh, I'm trying to remember what we need to do next. So these are going to set off that, and then to connect all of this, we're going to need to grab some stone here. We're going to need to grab this hopper, put that there, and then, so it sends off the signal down to that hopper. Like, come on guys, this is like crazy. We need to make sure this hopper gets a signal from that dropper. Oh my gosh, why do they have to make droppers and hoppers this exact same? And we need to, just, just need to, there we go, and we need a comparator facing towards the hopper there. And then that, as you can see, it turns on this redstone, which then makes it face that way. Now, in this dropper, uh, I'm not sure how many items we need to put in there. I just believe, I'm pretty sure it's just one item, but uh, let me, wait, wait. I think one item will do it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think one item will do it. So let's go ahead. We'll open this up, and we just need to put one block. So we'll just put one block of quartz there, and that activates that comparator signal. All right, wow, we have done a whole lot of redstone. Let's move on to the next step. This is becoming like a tutorial right now here, guys. But meh, meh, it's a good tutorial. This is a really cool design. So what we need to do is we actually need to have four stone slabs. So we're going to have to destroy this now, I think. And we'll go grab the slabs. And we're actually going to have to put these slabs here to connect over to this um, section right here. Now, the reason why these have to be slabs is because we're going to put putting more redstone craziness right under there. So let's go ahead and we'll just uh, bring these up, bring these around, grab, grab, like so. I believe that's all I'm going to need to do. Oh, no, no, we're not. We're no, 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 we're going to put a comparator here, actually. Oh, come on, come on. I can't. I just need to get just a little bit higher. Ah, come on, just let me get a little higher, we're gonna have to jump over here, come around, jump, alright, there we go, and we're going to need the comparator facing in this direction, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this, we need to dig one block up so I can just jump and place that comparator down facing in this direction, coming on from this hopper, so as you can see the signal's gonna come down here and activate these hoppers over here, letting them know that it's time for them to drop the items into the brewing stand, so yeah, pretty crazy, alright guys, now what? Now, now what do we need to do? Alright, I think what we're going to do now is where we were building earlier, and we we're actually going to connect, we're going to put a... Oh, uh, yeah, okay, we're going to put a block right here. 
So as you can see, the redstone here is coming right next to this system here. And then we're going to put a redstone torch on top of that, which allows this to know when things are happening. Then we're going to chuck another block up here, like so. Um, oh, not a hopper, not a hopper. We aren't going to place a hopper there. We're going to put a block of stone. So let's go ahead, grab some stone. We're going to place this here. And we're going to put the redstone up here, which is going to activate it from that torch. All right, good. That is looking all G there. And so you see, once that turns on, that's going to activate this system up here as well. Now what we need to do is from the upper section here where these redstone torches are, we're going to need to place a block right there, like so. And we're going to need to bring that out. Alright, and what we're going to need to do if we just... I just need to come up here a little bit. And we need to dig this up so the redstone from up there can connect to here and down to here. And as you can see, that's going to connect each of those up. So I just need to get a little bit higher so I can see what I'm doing here. We'll get rid of these blocks afterwards. Alright, up we come. We need to put the redstone there so it comes down here. And we're actually going to put a repeater here, like so. And then we're going to put a block right there against the comparator. Oh, like this, as you can see. Really simple. And we're going to get rid of these temporary blocks. We'll put another block right there. Now, I'm going to put, um, as you can see, that's going to bring the signal between those two blocks. Now, what we need to do is we're going to come back down, and then underneath this block, we need to put another block. And so, as you can see, this is, I'm just trying to show you this from different angles, because it's really confusing here, guys. And so, underneath this section up here, we need another block, so we can build under here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the redstone from over here, and we're going to put a block here. And this redstone from here is actually going to connect up over to this um, repeater here. And that's going to activate that redstone there, creating the timing system. Oh my gosh, guys. Serious redstone stuff. I'm just trying to show you this from different angles so you can try and figure out what I am doing here. And then to finish it all off, we need to come around to this side here where we've got the fancy redstone bizzo going on. And we just need to squidge, squidge into here. Squidge, squidge, squidge into here. Ah. And we need to place a redstone torch right there, and that'll turn off. So that needs to be above the little uh, L we made there. Let's see if I can get a better view so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, we're just going to place this stone here for now. So as you can see, we put the redstone torch just there, which is connecting over this L shape right there. All right, good. We got that part of the brewing station all done, done, done. And I think we just need to add a few more finishing touches to the redstone machinery in here so we can um, finish off this timing system. Oh boy, guys, this is full on. The redstone here is ridiculous. This is a whole lot more complicated than that slime entrance, guys, and I thought that was cool. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to connect this uh, signal to another section. So we just gotta, um, what we're gonna do is place this block there. And then we're going to go ahead and put a repeater here. And we're just going to connect this down to here. And as you can see, this comparator is going to activate that. The redstone is going to come down. And this is going to turn off this signal and then turn this light off. All right, guys. So I think we have finished the large majority of the brains of this machine. Now, this is basically going to receive the signal from here, get the timing right, and send the items down into the brewing section. I'm not going to tell you exactly how it works because it's pretty full-on crazy madness here. So, yeah, that is... The potion brewing stand done. That is crazy. I mean, wow. The people who come up with the thing, these things are amazing. I'm, I actually got this from a tutorial I watched a long time ago. I wonder if I can still find it for you. I will try and get it um, if you guys want to do this because I, I don't think I really explained this super great. Anyway, what we now need to do is fill these chests up with water bottles so they fill up the potion brewing stands here. So let's go upstairs and we're going to make a ton of of water bottles here just to get it working all right so let's grab this up we go all right so we're going to need glass obviously let's grab this and we'll grab that glass right there we'll go ahead and we're just going to make a whole heap of bottles here so let's just spam the bottle button spam 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 spam, spam. all right good i think we've made all the bottoms that we can so let's grab that and we'll grab that like so we're just going to go outside and fill these up Ooh. We have a problem. We have a problem. I need to bring the water source downstairs because there's no way we're going to fit that many water bottles in our inventory. So let's grab a bucket here. I'll just grab a water source block. Dum -ba -dum -bum. We'll just grab one water source block. So let's come over to this nice little lake here. Grab. 
and we're going to go downstairs to the lab and put this right next to the brewing stand. That way we can easily fill up our potions at any time. I think that'll be really neat. All right, and I believe the entrance is right here. And down we go. All right, so what we need to do is, for now, I'm just going to put the water here, like so. And we're just going to fill these up. Oh, actually, yeah, let's just do this. We'll just, we'll just chuck them all into here, and then I can collect them and put them in the chest. All right, like so. We're just making thousands of water bottles here. Lol. And we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right, there we go. Let's jump over to these chests here and fill these up. So bam, 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 bam. All right, guys. So as you can see, now that it is on and the ingredients have come through, you can see the nether warts have come in. And obviously, all I need to do is move the water bottles into here. And what I'm going to do, I think, after this episode is set up the auto hoppers so that it'll automatically bring the water bottles down into the brewing stand. So anyway, this is our super crazy, huge, humongous monstrosity of an auto brewer that can brew four uh, potions all at once. That is crazy. Um, wow, this redstone is full on magical. It is insane. Now... Right now, while you're watching this video, I am actually um, on holidays, on the beach, in fact, and this video will actually be scheduled, so there probably will not be any uploads after this one for a bit of time, because I've actually scheduled this two weeks before. So I made this video two weeks ago from when you're watching it, which, mind blown, I know, it's crazy. I'm actually just enjoying myself on the beach. Well, I will be right now when you are watching this video. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got wowed by this crazy redstone machine. If you did, make sure to smash that like button with all you've got. And until next time, guys, I stream out. Bye.